How's it going, everybody? Matus Motorman here on his brand new bike. Well, not brand new, but you know, restored bike. Um, I've, I've taken most of you seen the previous video, so I thought it's a matter of time I do a little update. Because from the last video I uploaded, uh, which was about my, uh, which was on my scooter, I was gosh quite a while ago, and now you know it's spring. It's good mid spring. It's sunny. It's been sunny for the last four days. The weather's been perfect. I've been out for the whole four days, you know, and I really felt like doing a vlog. Um, the first day I went out, but thing with me I realized was that I was uh, so you know um, needed to practice my writing and I was so concentrated or you know getting things right getting the gear gearing right getting a uh, speed right you know getting used to the bike and the weights and the handling that I was so focused on it all that uh, I, I couldn't just you know talk away but it's been quite a while now well not quite a while I've been been four days since I, I've been riding. Uh, this Mercedes driver is really slow. Um, oh, it's turning okay. Um, so it's been. I've got some practice. Uh, don't have to go that slow. Come on. Um, I got some practice, so I think it's ready that I, I think it's time that I, <laughs> see I, I, I'm still a little worried, kind of even choose the right words to say, um, but I think I'm ready to uh, do a little update video, um, I've done the new intro, I've done the new, you know, YouTube picture and stuff, because I really want to, you know, since I'm doing this huge change, which is a huge change for me, because I'm going for a 50cc scooter to a 1 to 5, you know, like one the hip I think it's one of the heaviest one two fives you can get. Uh, which is the Hyosun or Hyosun GT 125R, the uh, fairing version, the sports version, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've had this bike for quite a while, like over six months now, and I've been keeping a secret, a big secret from everybody. Just uh because it was a really rough shape once uh, once I first got it. But this is the bike I'm going to be riding from now on. That's the bike I'm going to be seeing um, on the channel for the next, well, I don't want to spoil it, but a few years or two years actually, just until I'm able to do my uh, AQ license. So then I could upgrade, you know. There's not much I can talk about the bike other than the fact that I really love it so far. It's not just you know, the speed upgrade, but the fact that the way, the amount of attention this bike gets from the public, I mean, Especially children, we all know children love motorbikes. But yeah, eyes are just rolling all over, or uh, heads are just rolling all over the bike. And you drive, you drive past, you see old men, or old men staring at the bike. Probably ridden there you for something. <coughs> yeah, my voice is a bit dry because I haven't spoken so much or at all even in such a long time. I haven't done a proper motor vlog like I used to in the first days. Um, for quite a while now. And I'm sort of still trying to focus on the road. Um, but hopefully everything's alright. So yeah, I've been getting better and better at the gears. First time I properly ran out which was, uh, with my friend who is on a CBR125, the post 2012 model, so like the new, the new model. She's been dragging me around and I sort of had to force myself to learn to ride, you know, a bit more uh, appropriately because I've been missing gears, I've been getting false neutrals, uh, I've been, you know, shifted into neutrals from first to second, which was, you know, it's embarrassing and I didn't want to film that. I know uh, I wanted to do sort of like a, what, Moto Max, first time ever on motorbikes, but I mean, I wanted to do that, but it wouldn't be, have been fair because uh, I've been on a you know, motorbike previously before that. That's my friend's motorbike. Been, you know, even after the CBT you know, while I was riding the scooter. So I didn't, I didn't do that. But there were a couple of times, a couple of embarrassing moments. 
especially in sort of city traffic and from uh, mo mostly from traffic lights but I've been getting better and better I really hate this car oh shit there's gravel all over here look at that patch there's shit all over the place and I'm really really afraid you know to take this bike in quarters that's because it's so heavy. I don't know what limits on this bike are. I know the chicken strip so far is really, really massive. That's about two or three centimeters thick, which is quite thick for you know someone who's riding a sports bike. But hopefully, you can reduce that over time as we get more used to the bike. Now, um, another uh, I guess channel update I'm gonna do is well. I still have a lot of footage on the scooter. I mean, <coughs> the footage that I've uploaded so far, I think I believe I have like 47 videos or 48 videos or something. Uh, even if all those videos, I haven't uploaded half, even half of the uh, the footage on the scooter, which is a shame. You know, I was hoping to get you know upload all the footage I recorded with my uh, my friend Ziggy, who's now in Sweden and edit them up um, you know until I got this motorbike or started riding this motorbike but turns out that's not gonna happen so what I'm what I was thinking of doing instead is you know this is the main priority I'm gonna try and keep this as updated as I can just because I'm not riding so much anymore because <coughs> um, my best mate you know he's away and so I don't, I don't have really anyone to ride with or talk about much so I'm, I'm going to try to keep these videos updated as much as I can and at the same time I'm going to do a little change, maybe make a new playlist or do something to the uh, <coughs> thumbnails that, that guy looked, that guy looked, he loved it, he loved it! <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a change to the thumbnails, obviously my sort of style was I do this uh, cut off the corner the top left corner I put the model number with the model name of the bike into it so I'm gonna change that and change the color from the orange writing to you know I don't know red and white or something just to match the bike and I'm gonna still I'm, I'm gonna, this is gonna be my pr sort of priority videos this is the videos I'm gonna do a lot but at the same time I'm gonna try and upload more scooter videos and I'm probably gonna you know, make a new playlist called Classics or something. That's because they're so outdated. I mean, they're almost a year old. So, you know, it's, there's no much point in pretending that, yeah, I upload a video on the scooter and this is like an up, up to date video. Because, you know, it's not. And I thought I want you guys to know that. Just to see how inexperienced and stupid. And, yeah, just to see all the mistakes I've done. And also, there's some quite entertaining footage. That, you know, I really want to get get it out there because even you know the, the the folder of the videos is so massive. Even I don't know where all the good parts are, so I sort of have to scan through uh, the very first video to you know just keep going and pick out the best parts on the scooter and edit them up and then upload them. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna do another separate folder for the videos all that I'm recording this bike. Which means I'm soon gonna have to buy myself a new hard drive, and I, hopefully I can get my hands on a two terabyte one at least, because at the moment I'm using the one terabyte external hard drive, which is not enough because I only have 40 gigabytes of memory left on that hard drive. <coughs> so I, I either need to uh, edit up and upload more videos or videos faster than I am actually recording which is almost impossible unless you have no life and you're sitting at home for weeks and weeks and weeks and you have nothing to do and you really love you know watching videos process which no one does <coughs> sorry about the coughing my throat is really dry just because I, my voice is so underused over the past few months that you know I uh, get used to talking again Talking to you guys.